Hey, T, thanks for taking another. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about uh, uh, the uh, young goalkeeper for the Chicago Fire, uh, Gaga Solina. Um, he's been receiving a lot of media attention, and, and you, as someone who came through as a young goalkeeper too, I'm sure, like, if you were in his shoes, like, you know, you'd have some thoughts about, uh, you know, uh, how to approach everything with that kind of, like, attention at a young age. Have you gotten to talk with him before? Um, and, uh, you know, is the GK union, like, a real, you know, thing where you guys are actually having uh, union types conversations? Like, uh, you know, what are your thoughts about him as a young keeper? Yeah, I actually haven't uh, spoken with him before. I've only kind of heard bits and pieces from guys. Uh, who's been in camp with him, but I've only heard really good things. Uh, Jackson, you know, says he's a great keeper, he's a really good kid. Um, I'm excited to play against him, and obviously I think it's it's amazing the fact that he's getting so much attention and so much draw uh, as a young goalkeeper. It shows his quality, and I think it shows his uh, potential, and I think it's great for the league. Um, it's great for our national team to have um, such a young guy coming up that uh, can show so much promise, and um, I think regarding the, the GK Union definitely is a thing. Um, I think you'll hear a lot of guys around our own locker room talk about it, how you know we'll never say anything bad about each other, regardless of the situation, regardless of you know what might happen. Because um, I think we all know what each other go through. Um, there's only one, one of us back there, and kind of we are very unique, I would say. Uh, most of us are pretty weird, so uh, we kind of fit along, uh, get along pretty well with each other and kind of fit in. But... Um, you know, I'm excited to talk to, with, talk with him, and um, I think I just I wish him the best, and I hope that uh, everything works out for him. Thank you, JT. We'll take two more questions. This one comes from Ted Ramey. He asks, a couple of your teammates and fellow homegrowns in Cade Cowell and Nico Chikaris are currently with the U.S. U-20s and recently qualified for the uh, next year's Under-20 World Cup and are just one win from the 2024 Summer Olympics. How excited are you for them, and have you spoken to them at all while they've been away? Yeah, we couldn't be happier for them. Um, I've spoken to both of them. I think they're they're very excited. The fact that you know they're representing their country and um, it's an amazing honor and it's an amazing um, team that they have down there. I think they have all the tools in order to win the win the championship. I think it's a a great memory that I was telling them uh, that Jeremy and I were down in Costa Rica five years ago, um, competing for our own Olympics, our own U uh, twenty World Cup, excuse me. And it was it's something you look back on and it's really special and it's really um, a cool experience and it's a cool group of guys that you know you always have a shared shared experience shared relationship with um, and I think that's the biggest thing that we we can take away and um, I know that they'll do well in their next game. Thank you one final question from Jamin Moore. Hey JT thanks for taking another um, I'm, I'm interested in this uh, the kind of topic around the goalkeeper coach uh, you had you know Carlos Roa who's a legend for you know, a, a few years uh, as, as a goalkeeper coach, and I'm sure you've had great coaches in the past. What is it that, first off, like who's really had an impact on you, and in what way did they have it? And then, you know, looking ahead to um, the time where you know we get a new permanent head coach and a, and probably a new full time goalkeeper coach to come with that. What is it that you know you would like to see in in a, in a new goalkeeper coach for your Olympics? Thank you. Yeah, I'm not sure I have enough time to kind of go through the whole long long list of all the guys who have had impact on me. Um, I've been super fortunate with all the coaches that I've had. Um, obviously, most recently we with with Carlos, and I think he was amazing. He helped me uh, tremendously in the past three and a half years, uh, improved kind of me as a more well-rounded goalkeeper um, on and off the field, just kind of matured with him. He's, the stories that he would tell and the things that he went through when he was playing um, were truly one of a kind. and so. He was obviously a huge impact. Yuri, my first year here, um, now that he's back at Red Bulls, I think um, he's a great coach and I owe a lot to him as well. But, you know, I can go back to when I was eight, uh, working with John Conway when he used to play for the Earthquakes back in uh, before they moved to Houston. And now he's at Toronto's head co or goalkeeper coach. So there's a whole list of people. Uh, Henry Falk at, at Cal Berkeley used to work with our academy. So um, I think it's one thing I'm looking for in a goalkeeper coach is just consistency. Um, I think no matter who they bring in, I know that I'll get along with well, and um, I'm really excited to work with kind of anybody and uh, learn learn from someone new and learn, you know, everybody kind of has their own uh, little quirks that you kind of get used to. You know, it's goalkeeping, you can't reinvent the wheel, but um, I think there's, with someone new, always brings new challenges and new, new experiences and new perspectives. So I'm really excited to learn 
uh, from whoever for from whoever's here and um, you know I think we'll get along really well not just me but also Matt and Emmy and I think we have a really good goalkeeper core here um, so I think uh, no matter no matter who's brought in uh, we'll do well all right I um, just real quick ask about that you mentioned consistency can you just elaborate on that a little bit more like when you say consistency in the goalkeeper coach what you're looking for there sure yeah I mean I think just coming in day in day out and willing to work um, I think not just me but Matt and Emmy are also we love to train uh, we absolutely get after it uh, we push each other we're competitive with each other and so I think someone someone who's there with us uh, pushing us in the same way uh, is what I would say